I will call to order the 91st meeting of the National Advisory Council for Human Genome Research. Good morning, everyone who is joining us from wherever you are, like um, all NIH advisory meetings uh, and almost all meetings uh, of any kind these days, this is being conducted in a virtual format because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Let me start by saying I hope everyone is safe and well and continues to be so in these incredibly challenging times. Um, nonetheless, we have work that must get done here at the National Institutes of Health and included in that our uh, engagement of our advisory councils so that we can continue our mission of funding uh, biomedical research on behalf of the United States. So we will push forward in this virtual format and do our best. And I think we have, are very well organized to be able to get the business that needs to get done um, at this advisory council meeting, even though it's in a virtual format. So with that as an introduction, let me turn this over to the uh, able handling of our superb executive secretary, Dr. Rudy Pizzotti. Thank you, Eric, and <clears throat> good morning, everyone. I wanna remind the council members that this meeting is being live streamed and the public can watch the open session by going to the nhgrigenome.gov website. Let me also remind people that this uh, video will be archived and that a copy of this council meeting, as well as all council meetings going back to about 2011, can be found on the NHGRI council webpage. I have a number of introductions to make this morning about new staff and new council members. So let's begin by welcoming two of our new council members. And we'll start with Lisa Parker. Lisa is professor and director of the Center for Bioethics and Health Law and the director of the Masters of Arts in Bioethics program at the University of Pittsburgh. She also directs the area of concentration in humanities, ethics, and palliative care in the School of Medicine. She is a fellow in the Center for Philosophy of Science, and she leads the university's Research, Ethics, and Society Initiative which is designed to encourage university-wide discourse on the topic of research ethics and the social implications of science and technology. Lisa's research activities have focused on ethical concerns related to genetic and mental health research with a particular interest in informed consent, privacy, and practices related to the return of genetic results to research participants. She has published and presented extensively on these topics. She has chaired the Genomics and Society Working Group of this council and has served on NIH working groups that studied the management of incidental findings from genetic research projects. She has also been a member of multiple peer review panels for NHGRI's Ethical, Legal, and Social Implications Research Program. Lisa has served on an impressive number of advisory boards, including an NIH committee to draft guidelines on the involvement of human subjects in genetic research, the Canadian Institutes of Health Research, Genome Canada, the Wellcome Trust, and the US Department of Defense. She has also been a member of the external advisory panel for NHGRI's Emerge Network. Welcome, Lisa. I also want to uh, welcome Len Panaccio to the council. <clears throat> Excuse me. Len is the deputy director of the Department of Energy's Joint Genome Institute and a senior scientist at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. He's also an adjunct professor at the University of California at Berkeley. Len has a long history of conducting research, gene, conducting disease gene discovery projects and developing mouse models to perform functional studies of variants discovered in the human that are thought to be involved in disease development. For the past several years, he has been a grantee of the ENCODE project, most recently as the PI of the center that conducts the in vivo characterization of ENCODE functional elements by exploiting the mouse as a model study system. Len served four years on the GCAT study section in the Center for Scientific Review and has been a member of multiple special emphasis panels for NHGRI peer review meetings. He's also served as a reviewer for Wellcome Trust, Genome Canada, and the Canadian Institute of Health Research. He's been on too many advisory boards to name, but I'll cherry pick a couple of them the NHGRI External Advisory Panel for the Genome Sequencing Program and the DARPA Technology Office Defense Biotechnology Insight Group. Len has received multiple NIH grant awards from the National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute, the National Institutes of Neurological Disease and Stroke, and from NHGRI. 
I will highlight that he received the White House Presidential Early Career Award for Scientists and Engineers, or PCAST Award, in 2007. He served on the editorial boards for genome research and atherosclerosis, thrombosis, and vascular biology. Welcome, Len. We have a number of new employees at an HGO. I found this on the web. Pardon me. We have a number of new employees who have joined NHGRI since the May Council meeting, and I'd like to introduce them to the Council. Uh, Natalie, can we bring up the slides people, of people, please? And we'll begin with Jamil Scott. Jamil earned a doctoral degree from the Department, Department of Cell and Developmental Biology at Harvard University. She went on to earn a master's in public health from the Harvard School of Public Health. Her postdoctoral research focused on nutritional epidemiology, cancer epidemiology, and cancer disparities. Jamil comes to us from Michigan State University, where she has been a research assistant professor in the Division of Public Health, working on research projects involving health equity, disease prevention, and underserved communities. At NHGRI, Jamil will be a senior scientific program analyst working with Vince Bottom in the office of the director. She'll be involved in a range of projects, including workforce diversity and genomics and health disparities. Welcome, Jamil. Jill Thomas. Jill has recently joined the Communications and Public Liaison Branch as the lead writer and editor. Prior to coming to NHGRI, Jill worked in the Bureau of Justice Statistics for 12 years as a writer and editor where she oversaw reports and publications produced by statisticians from multiple units in the Bureau. Jill has a master's degree in folklore and children's literature from Missouri State University. Welcome, Jill. Alyssa Jones. Alyssa has very recently joined the Communications and Public Liaison Branch as a public affairs specialist. Before joining NHGRI, Alyssa was a Peace Corps volunteer working in Morocco in a youth development program. Prior to her Peace Corps experience, Alyssa worked in fashion communications and business and branding development projects for multiple clients. Alyssa has a Bachelor of Science degree in marketing from the University of Illinois. Welcome, Alyssa. Harry Waddell. Harry is the man who needs no introduction at NHGRI. Harry spent the two previous years as a program analyst at NHGRI's extramural research program, where he worked on the H3 Africa Common Fund and our Centers of Excellence in Genomic Science portfolio of grants. And much to our delight, Harry has moved forward with his career development, but remains with NHGRI, where he is now working in the communications and public liaison branch as a communications specialist. I would say welcome back, Harry, but he never really left us. In fact, I think we had him working two jobs for a couple of months this summer. Amanda Conti. Amanda is a new program analyst working in the policy and program analysis branch at NHGRI. Amanda graduated from Duke University this May, earning a bachelor's of science degree in biology with a concentration in genomics and a minor in neuroscience. Part of her reason for joining NHGRI is her interest in the policy and ethical issues that arise from the implementation of new genomics technologies in the clinical care setting. Welcome, Amanda. Allison McCagg. Allison joined the program and policy analysis branch in August as a science policy analyst. Allison earned her doctoral degree in human genetics from Johns Hopkins in 2019. Her doctoral research involved a collaboration between the Institute for Genomic Medicine and the Berman Institute of Bioethics. She studied the policy issues associated with new therapeutics developed for cystic fibrosis. For the past year, Allison was at the Eagleton Institute of Politics at Rutgers University, where she worked as a science aide for the New Jersey Department of Health. Welcome, Allison. Now we have a new crop of program analysts that have joined the NHGRI's extramural research program over the summer. And let's begin with Sean Guerin. Sean graduated from Washington College this year with a degree in biology and chemistry. He has spent the past two summers as an, as an intern at the Center for Biomolecular Science and Engineering Division of the Naval Research Laboratory. Sean will be working on the Knockout Mouse Phenotyping Project, or COMP, the Centers of Excellence in Genomic Science, or SAGS, and the Computational Genomics and Data Science Portfolio of Grants. Welcome, Sean. 
Madison Goldrich. Madison graduated from the University of Virginia this year with a Bachelor of Science degree in Biomedical Engineering and a minor in Government. In her junior and senior years at UVA, Madison was an undergraduate teaching assistant, teaching assistant in the Applied Math and Biomedical Engineering departments. At NHGRI, Madison will work on the Undiagnosed Disease Network, the Genomic Medicine Working Group of Council, the Phenotypes and Exposures or Phoenix Toolkit, and the Variation Function and Disease Portfolio of Grants. Welcome, Madison. Grace Lamour. Grace graduated from Loyola University in Maryland with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Biology and Spanish. While at Loyola, she worked as a research assistant on, the, on a genome editing research project. At NHGRI, Grace will work on the Undiagnosed Disease Network, a clinical sequencing evidence generating research or CSER project, and the Polygenic Risk Score program. Welcome, Grace. Ali Osgood. Ali graduated from Lewis and Clark College this spring with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Biology and a minor in Neuroscience. At NHGRI, she will work on the h 3 Africa Common Fund Initiative, outreach, outreach activities to the small business community, and our comparative genomics portfolio of grants. Welcome, Ali. Kathleen Renna. Kathleen graduated this spring from the University of Connecticut with a Bachelor of Science degree in Diagnostic Genetic Sciences. At UConn, Kathleen helped develop a genetic literacy program for middle school and high school students to introduce them to technologies used in clinical genetics. Kathleen will work with the LC Research Program and will help with the CSER project. Welcome, Kathleen. Grace Snyder. Grace prefers to go by the nickname Gigi, which is good news for NHGRI since we now have two analysts named Grace. Gigi graduated this spring from Wesleyan University with a Bachelor of Arts degree in biology and a focus on bioinformatics. Gigi will be working on the genome sequencing program and the GWAS catalog. Welcome, Gigi. Anna Stevens. Anna graduated this year from Pomona College with a Bachelor of Arts degree in biology. Her senior thesis studied genetic variation in the rickettsia genome. This summer, Anna attended the Biostatistics and Computational Biology Summer Program at the T.H. Chan School of Public Health at Harvard University. Anna will work on the analysis, visualization, and informatics lab space or ANVIL resource. Welcome, Anna. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge that all, or at least most, of these new hires have come to NHGRI uh, in the brave new world of virtual meetings without the benefit of live interviews. And I want to commend all my NHGRI colleagues who recruited these uh, talented people to come to NHGRI. And I wanna thank the new employees for accepting the challenge of starting a new job under these most unusual circumstances. I'd like to acknowledge our Council Society liaison members, Ellen Giarelli from the International Society of Nurses and Genetics, Mona Milla from the American Society of Human Genetics, Sharon Terry and Catherine Lambertson from the Genetic Alliance, and Rhonda Schomburg from the National Society of Genetic Counselors. I'd also like to acknowledge that Natalie Pino, who is our note taker for the open session, will be providing that service for us. Normally you would see the person taking notes at the council meeting room, but since we're meeting virtually, that's no longer the case. So thank you, Natalie. Uh, council members, I seek your approval for the council um, minutes from the May 2020 council meeting. Are there any comments, edits, or corrections to the minutes? All right, thank you very much. We need a vote, please. Can I have a motion to approve the February council minutes? Steve, Ruth, so, so move. I'll take that as a vote, as a nomination and a second. Anyone, all in favor, please. Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Anyone abstaining? Thank you very much. Future meeting dates, please note them on the open session agenda. We've listed the next six council meetings and the dates there. If you discover a schedule conflict, please contact me and more importantly, Comfort Brown and let us know about that. And with that, I yield the floor to Eric Green for his director's report.